Good morning. Welcome to my little hike. I'm Kevin, and what a very interesting trail this is today. It's covered in graffiti. I mean, everywhere you look, there's graffiti. It's very colorful, I will tell you that. I don't know if this is just a popular trail for the taggers. I don't know if they're marking the, uh, the rocks and the roads so they can find their way home or back to their car, or if they're just practicing their, their lettering. But uh, nevertheless, it's everywhere. So three things to remember when you hike here. Backpack, water, and plenty of cans of spray paint. Let's go have a hike. My guest today is someone I've worked with for years on Saturday Night Live back in the 1900s. And uh, he's a good buddy of mine. We uh, live in the same neighborhood, so this is a very convenient hike for him. And um, he can read graffiti. So we got, a, we got a good guest with us today. Say hello to Adam Sandler. You know, I hike on this trail with my kids, and sometimes snakes come out and stuff. Like you afraid of snakes? Uh, I used to have a snake as a kid. I wasn't. That's afraid. not the question I asked you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I am. I don't love them. No. So, Sally. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, no one's ever looked at you and said, "Man, there is a a, a fashion statement right there." You I, dress how you want to dress. It's just comfortable. Yeah. Yes. It's oh, what fits right in the day. I had a. Uh, so I did this Moby that's a little fancier than my other Mobies, and I was. Uh, trying to, I guess, be respectful to the uh, film and, uh, and everybody yelling at me that I dress like an animal and I, and I got these tailored suits. I was driving to the uh, premiere the other night in the suit and I swear to God I was in the worst mood because it was digging into my stomach. I, and uh, I was very snappy. My wife missed the old days of this t-shirt right here. Yeah. The great thing about you is you wear your emotions on your sleeve. Yes, very snappy. People know when you're either in a good mood or a horrible mood. <laughs> you, you too, Neil, and you're getting more and more angry. You're letting them show, <laughs> you're letting them show more. Yeah, I'm a very angry man. <laughs> <laughs> you never, never, uh, I don't think in my life I've seen you give a full snap, but I've seen a, a few uh, slippers. Oh, it's getting more and more. Really? Yeah. Who gets it the most? Uh, <laughs> we'll be you right know. <laughs> you know who gets it the most. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know who gets it the most are strangers. Oh God, you let them have it. It's just, <laughs> it's just a dumping zone for me. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean you're gonna be late? Man, my plane. I feel like a year and a half or two years ago, our plane went was going down. Me and Lockhorn were on a plane. And we, uh, it was a private jet? It was a little small private oh, plane. Man. And oh, buddy, when we finally got to the ground, I was like, I'm never doing, never flying again in my life. That was awful. Oh, what happened? And it's just, just all of a sudden, one of the engines went out and the place was smoking. And we look up and the two pilots had gas they had masks mass. on. And we didn't. And it was 15 minutes of them looking oh, and no. hitting buttons and stuff. And me and Lockhorn like, and Lockhorn's texting. To all my loved ones, <laughs> and all those crazy shit. <laughs> and it was awful, buddy. Oh awful. my God, was, that was, that's my biggest fear right there. It was just thinking you're never gonna see your family again, and oh, oh my God, it was fucking horrible. And then when I got to the ground, I said, you know, we, we drove instead of uh, flying to where we were going. And but then uh, I fucking flew again. I don't know why. I know it. I know it. What was wrong with the plane? One of the engines went out, I think. And did they say anything to you as it was When happening? we land, no, that was the bad part. And they, and they, they, they said they regret not doing that. They but you don't, also you don't want to interrupt them because they're doing everything they could do, right? It was panic buttons going boom, 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 and like rah, 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 and talking shit, and me and Lachlan were like, holy shit, this is like That's the it. real deal, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that was a bad one. <laughs> what makes you the maddest? What well, the maddest? Oh. Uh, I get mad. I think I go quick to being crazy when I'm late. I when do. you're late? When I'm late. Not when someone else is late. Well, when someone else is late, I just leave. <laughs> I, that's usually my thing. I just go. But when I'm late, I feel bad that I'm screwing over somebody. And then I know uh, they're sitting there waiting on uh, something that's probably going to be useless anyways. But when you're late, yeah. in your head, are you looking for someone to blame for you being late? Oh, uh, yeah, there's usually a reason. Yeah, that's what I probably dwell on, who made me late. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, or when you get a cold, you go, who gave me this cold? Oh, yeah, every time. Every time, and I give him a complete stare down. Yeah. Look at this, Nathan. 
Is that Frankenstein? Is that Dracula? Who is that? That's uh, Frankenstein. That is, right? Yeah. Good man. What was Dustin Hoffman like in this new movie? What's it called? Uh, the Meyerowitz stories. He was, he's just, I know him a long time. I remember as a kid, I loved Papillon. Yeah, oh yeah, Papillon. Remember Midnight that? Cowboy? Midnight Cowboy. Oh. And uh, 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 Marathon Man and everything oh, he yeah. did. Everything he did. Everything. Kramer versus Kramer. Every, every oh movie he gosh. made was like, you'd always watch him and then you'd hear someone in the room go, now that's an actor. That's the <laughs> best actor. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you don't hear that much? I haven't heard now that I hear now. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you get nervous when you go on a talk show? Yes. Why yes. is that? When you've been doing this for so long? I can't believe it. When I would do Letterman, man, I was, it was the only thing I was nervous about. And when, I, when I was in New York, I would do a bunch of shows, and, but something about Letterman used to make me really uh, tense on the sidelines. I wanted to do good to make him laugh, I guess. Yeah, yeah. He, I, I felt the same way about him. So I never enjoyed doing that show because it was so much stress. It was good when it, when it went went well, man. I was so happy for the rest of the week. And if I ate it, I, I would definitely be like, oh, man, I wish I could get that back. Yeah. I was, uh, I woke up a couple years ago, so I'm going to start doing stuff that scares me. Uh -huh. Two of those things, one was the Howard Stern Show, and the uh -huh. other one was Bill Maher. Oh, wow, you did both of them? Did both, yeah. That's good, how'd it go? It went good, yeah. Stern, Stern's e easy, that's yeah, because he's really he, he brings you in the right direction, yeah. Yeah, he's got, he, I think he's one of the best interviewers out there. Funny as hell, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was very relaxing. I know I didn't do it for a long time too, but it was great. And I never, I did Maher, when, before he had a political show, I did it, like, me and, and Apatow were on his show together, like when we were early 20s. Yeah, you and Judd Apatow, the director, the producer, used yeah. to live together, roommates. Yeah, yeah. In New York? L.A., when I moved out here, I moved out to L.A. and I was I lived with him for, uh, when I was 22, 23. Was it a gay relationship or was yeah. it just hetero? He, w he wanted to be both, but he, he was, Stuck in head roll, man. He was stubborn. Yeah, he was stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this, this unbelievable is trail, buddy? This is amazing. I've, you got any kind of sports teams you follow? Yeah, I'm um, New York. I guess I, I was a kid this. I liked all the New York teams. So I've seen you like at some, uh, what are they, Laker games? The yeah. Knicks games? Sitting on court? Yep. That's that. a little uh, That's a little weird, isn't it? Neil, I think I went to an all-star game with you. Me and you sat at a basketball all-star game together. Do you remember that? In yeah, like I do. Houston or something? Yeah, that's right. And I think uh, we were together and Michael Jordan walked over to Bob McAdoo. I, I, Neil, I don't know if you remember this, but he walked over to Bob McAdoo and McAdoo's feet were on the court and he kicked his feet and he goes, get those size 21 shoes off my <laughs> court or something. Huh? Were you on SNL when Jordan was hosting? Yes, and I, uh, I think that was the happiest that every one of us was. Man, that was amazing. That he, was like a beetle. And he's not as tall in person. He's like, what, 5'10"? <laughs> <laughs> How fun was it for you on SNL, though? It was uh, kind of stressful, but it was yeah. still kind of fun, right? Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. We were, we were very young. There wasn't any stress except the show, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. That was the best part. No stress but the show. Right, right. And I loved And, and I was kind of like you. We talked about it. When it, like dress rehearsal, I was ready to crush. Then, <laughs> yeah, the then, timing of it all. The timing, dress rehearsal, I was like, let's go, man, I'm gonna kill. This feels so good because there was no pressure. And then the live show, oh my God, was I was like when I would go out to do Letterman, I would just, my head would be spinning, and I'd be like, oh, what the hell am I doing? Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. said yes to this, why am I here? You picked too soon. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. You've never hosted SNL, right? No. Lauren's asked you, Probably several times. Back in the day, he did, and uh, I don't know. I just, I got, I think I, I don't even remember what it was. I got fired from the show, and then I got, uh, then there was some reason not to. I don't even know why. And then, I don't know. I'm kind of wouldn't die to have a week of my life uh, having to worry about learning lines and getting out there. I, I'm much more comfortable watching them do it. Yeah. I'm pretty. pretty it's baffling how many people want to do it 10 times and I know. and just I, I can't believe it but it's I respect it I love it but it's that thing like uh, I used to get going out on Letterman I'd be spinning going why did I agree to this <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have that big 
Just like you're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you get fired from SNL? I didn't know I, you got fired. Sort of. I, I was, yeah, I don't know. At that time, the, the head guys didn't like me and my sophomore stuff and that kind of thing. I think. I don't know. Oh, you were deal. killing on there. You were killing. Good. So you wouldn't, would you go back and host now if they asked you? No. I, I, I well, might. I why might. would you? I might. I don't know. I could, wouldn't rule it out. It would be fun to be in New York, and but I definitely would be stressed out. Yeah. 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 From my perspective, you're never more happy than when you're on the basketball court. That's right. Playing basketball. Huh? Yeah. 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 We, we play a lot. We have played a lot, and uh, and it's just like one of these things that I think if you could be doing anything, it would be basketball. I love knowing I'm going to play hoop with somebody. I love knowing wh while we're playing, getting exercise, and knowing we're never, uh, I don't have to exercise the rest of the day after. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like winning, too. You hate to lose. I, I, but when I lose, I've learned to handle it. <laughs> From therapy. <laughs> that was the thing about SNL. You know, it was a... It was competitive, but it was a quiet competitiveness. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like they, a, they, you're cast and you, you're slightly, you're competitive for time, for getting on, right? Yeah, you just fight. There's only so much time for your sketch, yeah. and so many sketches they put on. Yeah. So when they have the table read, it's yeah. like you know you work so hard on your sketch. Yeah. And. You know, why should you be cheering for somebody else's sketch to get on? That's true. <laughs> you know? That's very true. I know, but it is a gentlemanly uh, thing, a polite thing to do. Yeah, and so we did it. You know, we would laugh at other people's sketches, yeah. but secretly, sometimes... Well, you're like, oh, that spot's full. Yeah. Yeah. You hope that maybe somebody's sketch doesn't get picked over yours. Sure, sure. Oh, yeah. Well, you had to, yeah. <clears throat> Somehow, it didn't matter. We all, we all ended up getting on eventually. There was just, it was such an influx of so much creativity on that show all at once and happening so quickly. That's, yeah, we'll never have that again. Always, everybody always asks, who was the worst host on that show? Yeah. But I don't remember anybody being a bad host. Yeah. You know. I just was excited that we had a show that was, I don't remember uh, a particular host changing my, my mood. I mean, I was excited when like McCartney and Springsteen and guys like that were there. Yeah. Yeah. So the first time I actually met you, yeah. you remember when that was? I think it was at the comic strip. You're right. That's right. I was on SNL. Yeah. I went over there to do some comedy, some yes. stand up. Yes. And you were on. Yes. It was a very sparse crowd that night. There about 11 people, yeah. 11 people. Yeah. Three sober. Yeah. You did your bit. Yeah, you were loving me, right? I loved it. Yeah. I loved it because you had that specialness. I, I really thought you would make it one day, but I don't know, I got it's let fine. down on that one. But <laughs> <laughs> Cut to now, where you walk out on stage at some big arena or right. whatever it is, theater, right. and there's thousands of people. It's like the yeah. Beatles coming out on stage. Uh, Can you, would you ever have imagined that? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't, I, I, I did, I was a cocky young man. I thought I was going to do good. I don't know why. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't as bright as most people, <laughs> but, but I definitely was tenacious and wanted, wanted to get there. Oh I, yeah. I, I, I don't know what the hell. No, you were very, and you're still tenacious. You know, <clears> the <throat> first time I saw you, Neil, was when you did the, uh, I was in Florida with my friend Eric, and we were staying at my grandmother's, and we were laying, uh, I remember laying on the carpet, and, and uh, you came out, and you did a uh, thing about rubbing your eyes, and fireworks said it was your yeah. you, you didn't have a lot of money or, and uh, that's the way you saw fireworks right am i right that's right was that yeah. your first Tell appearance me bits, yeah and uh, and me and my friend were like oh my god and we talked about you the whole week and that's it kind of got me into obsessing about stand-up and one and i used to go i want to write jokes like uh, kevin nealon i always used to say that so I'm responsible for your career, basically, is what you're saying. So, sort of. Sort of. I, I, I made a, a sharp left turn, though. Uh, I got <laughs> to get funny out of land. this kneeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what am I doing with the fireworks bit? I used to, when I did stand-up, in the early days, used to pop on with a character sometimes because I didn't know what I was doing yet. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, and I was like, all right, I'll do, what Bob, I'll do Bobcat or yeah. something like that and I'll pretend I'm always drunk or pretend, like, I didn't know what the hell to do in the beginning. I, I know it. Nobody does, because you're trying to you're trying to uh, figure out your style and who you yeah. are and what you want to say on stage. Yeah. I remember when I I knew that you were had taken off. 
What? We did a gig together up in uh, Syracuse or somewhere in New York, uh -huh. a stand-up gig. Uh -huh. And you were opening for me. Uh -huh. And you know, you had done Weekend Update a lot, the, you know, read, right. a, read right. a sweatshirt and all that stuff. And, yeah. and we, we booked this gig like, I don't know, six months earlier. Uh -huh. And between that time we booked it and the time we got there, you were like, became a superstar. <laughs> and you're opening for me. <laughs> and I had to follow you at this college. And it was probably probably the first time I ever bombed. No! Yeah, yeah. You didn't do well? <laughs> you're so much better than me. I don't remember doing well. Uh, that's probably in your head because uh, I never see you not do great. Maybe. But I did. I, <laughs> Maybe I was just disappointed that you did so well. <laughs> I think that's what it was. <laughs> Why him? You were screaming why him so much you lost your voice. <laughs> What's your happy face look like? <laughs> <laughs> What's your side face look like? <laughs> Where did that whole thing come from? I used to do that growing up. Do, do an impression oh, of that yeah, on the yeah, 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 that was uh, that that was around. When somebody does a Sandler impression, they always do that. <laughs> what, is no, it? I Tell me, what is it they do? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sandman. Oh, it's always fun hanging out with him. Whether it's on a movie set or just playing basketball or going for a hike in some graffiti-laden trail. I think he'd be a good host for Saturday Night Live. Very popular, very funny. Anyway, thanks for joining me. This is a fun hike. And uh, don't forget to turn on notifications and subscribe to my channel. I gotta get one of those things. Be a lot quicker. Should be biking with you, maybe. Biking. Anyway, thanks for joining the hike and we'll see you next time. That's it, it's over. No more, no more hiking. It's done. Fruit, finished. Come on. That's more like it.